let one boy kiss me on my cheek. This is a real life story of David Reimer, the boy whose testicles were removed as a baby and who was raised by his parents as a girl. Why did his parents allow this crazy thing to happen? What did he do when he discovered the biggest secret of his life? And did he remain as a girl? Or did he change back to being a boy? Let's begin this crazy story. Six months after twin brothers Brian and Bruce Raymer were born, the parents Janet and Ron noticed something wrong with their baby's private parts. And the best solution they could think of was for both babies to be circumcised right away. Little did they know that would change one of the baby's life forever. Because Bruce's circumcision didn't go well, the doctor ended up burning his genital organ. In an instant, the poor baby lost his organ. What are we gonna do? A boy without a penis? How will he be when he grows up? My poor baby! Until one day they met a psychologist who specialized in biology and sexual identity. Dr. John Manny, whom they thought was the answer to all their troubles. Because Dr. John believed that gender is not something you are born into, but something learned. And so, upon learning the case of Bruce, he told his parents, Mr. and Mrs. Reimer, you need not to worry. Bruce would want to be raised as a girl, and I can help you raise her. I can help you raise the twins, in fact. I had complete faith in the doctor. Mm -hmm. I believed it would be best. At almost two years old, they removed Bruce's testicles. They started giving him girl toys. They made him wear dresses. They grew his hair long. They gave him a new name, Brenda. But Brenda didn't make it easy for them, because she showed no signs of feeling like a girl. She refused the girl toys and played with brother's toys instead. She was confused. I would try and convince him that he was doing it because he was a tomboy. Mm -hmm. And that it was okay to be himself. Or herself, I would say at the time. And this is where Dr. John's insane experiment would carry on. At only seven years old and without the knowledge of their parents, Dr. John would ask the twins to do the weirdest things, the weirdest experiments no child should ever do. Until that one day, when they were 13 years old, Dr. John tried to convince Brenda to undergo organ transplant to fully become a girl. And this is when Brenda had enough. She couldn't take it any longer that she told her mom, I will kill myself if I have to see the doctor again. Those were the words that made Janet realize they were being horrible parents. Finally, they decided to tell the twins the truth after 15 long years. Brenda, listen to me, honey. You deserve to know the truth. You were born as a boy, but something happened. We had to raise you as a girl. Brenda couldn't believe the words she just heard. I'm a boy. She was relieved and happy. She was no longer confused of who and what she was. She finally felt her own self for the first time in 15 years. For the next few years, Brenda slowly transformed herself. She took testosterone supplements. She had her breasts removed. She had her male genital organ recreated. She became a man again and called himself David. David continued to live the life he wanted. He even met the love of his life and married her. But even after so many years, the evil Dr. John wasn't done with him yet. 
He told people that the experiment with the Rhymer twins was successful and that David wanted to be a girl. And even when the twins opened up to the public about the hell they went through, Dr. John didn't let them live peacefully. Unfortunately, this led David to take his own life. David's story is both disturbing and heartbreaking. While it's true that the monster here is Dr. John Money, it is undeniable that all of this would have never happened if the parents only made the right decision. So let this be a reminder that you cannot convince your child into being a gender they are not. You can confuse them, but that will never truly make their lives better.